I'm from the Philippines, better than Billie Jean. Guess that is why I get more head than the guillotine. Mahal to kayo. Thank you for the support. I will see you tomorrow. But I don't sleep enough without you And I can't eat enough without you If you don't speak, does that mean we're through? Don't like sneaky shit that you do So we gon' keep, keep climbing to the mountaintop How did I go from this to this? Welcome to the internet. Hold on to your socks, cause a random guy just kindly sent you photos of his cock. They are grainy and off pudding. He just sent you more. Don't act surprised, you know you like it, you whore. See him at the head and get offended. I love boys, I wanna kiss boys, I wanna hold hands with a boy, I wanna cuddle with a boy, I want to passionately make out with another man, I want to fall asleep in another man's arms, I want another man to love me dearly, I You could bet that never gotta sweat you that trash, I'll be the rubber band, you'll be the match, I'll be a fuse, boom, paint a baby, you could be the mute, I'm the reporter, baby, you could be the mute, cause you're the cigarette, and I'm the smoker, we raise the bet. You look lonely. I am bored as fuck, so I'm here to explain how it feels to be a person of color in the LGBTQ community when most people in the LGBTQ community equate their experience of being LGBTQ with their whiteness, so let's go. As someone who is a person of color and someone who's trans and gay, someone who's a person of color and LGBTQ is always going to be a multiply marginalized group of people, which means they face both, both the microaggressions and outright hate from heterosexism and racial prejudice. Me, as someone who is transmasculine, I barely feel accepted as a trans mask because of how a lot of stereotypes and ideas of being trans mask is pushed. A lot of what being trans mask is, is integral to being white. Like a lot of the beauty standards, a lot of the stereotypes for being someone who's a trans man or trans mask is to be white. 
like the dead look or you have to be skinny or like the, the like the hair over the eyes all of that stuff is mostly associated with white trans masks for a lot of people who are both white and lgbtq they equate their experience as a white lgbtq person to the majority of other lgbtq people it's frustrating to feel so i don't know like just like an outsider in my own community because of how being poc is completely separate from being lgbtq when i've always experienced those things combined like they're just completely intertwined intertwined with each other and that's just how i'm going to experience it as someone who is asian and trans and not on testosterone or have gotten any surgeries i am still going to face the oppression as any other like woman of color that is still going to be something i face while also facing the oppression of being queer like it's integral to who i am as an lgbtq person and it's intertwined especially because i'm asian and Asian men are already emasculated as it is in the media and society. I am never going to be seen as as masculine as any other white trans mask. I'm never going to get that. <laughs>